Hey everybody, Nate Schomer here, and today we're gonna to be teaching our dogs the leave it command. Now I have Charlie here. I never taught him the leave it command because I don't teach leave it to my dogs. I simply use the condition correction, which would be no if they're going to do something that I don't like. However, if you wanna teach your dog a leave it command, which means don't pick up what you're about to pick up, then this is going to be an easy way to teach that. What I like to do when I'm teaching this exercise is I like to place the dog on a back tie. This is going to help prevent any sort of human error, meaning I slip or I'm unable to prevent him from getting the reward. The back tie is my insurance to make sure, even if I screw up, we're not gonna mess up the training exercise. So I'm gonna take a piece of food, I'm using hot dogs so it's big enough for you guys to see, and I'm gonna say the command, then I'm going to toss it. We first start by saying the command, then tossing the food. So remember, it has to be that predictable pattern for the dog to learn. So we go, leave it, then we toss it. So he's doing great, he's leaving it alone. And if our dog leaves it alone, how he's doing right here, so he's thinking about it, good boy, yes. So once he does it correctly, I mark with the yes, then I grab the reward and I hand it to my dog. So now we're gonna try another one. Again, saying the command before we toss the reward. So now he's into it. He got a little taste of that hot dog, which is a special treat for him. So I say, leave it. And again, the back tie is preventing him from being able to get the item. Now, if he looks up at me, yes, I can reward him with that. Now he's still trying to go after it a little bit, but you see he's not going too hard after it because he knows he has the back tie on. So I'm going to again pick up the reward and hand it to him. I like to show them, hey, just because I tell you to leave it doesn't mean you're not going to ever get the reward. You're still going to get the reward. I just want you to wait until we're, I'm ready to give you the reward. So again, we're going to do another one. We say, leave it, and then we toss. And if he looks at it, yes, and looks at me, I mark and reward. So now there's another option, another known technique is where you can cover it with your hand to prevent your dog from getting the food, or you can use your foot. Either option works. I like to use this, again, because for me, it makes sure I don't make the mistake of not getting my foot over the item before the dog gets to it, or not getting my hand over the item before the dog gets to it. Once we know our dog is doing pretty good, then what we can do is we can take off the back tie, we keep the leash. Anytime, remember, we're working with leash pressure or leash as a cue. If the dog is doing what you want, the leash needs to be nice and loose. So Charlie's going to be sitting, and then I'm going to take the item, and let's see how he does. Leave it, then I throw. So he's going right towards it, and then he stopped. Good boy. Yes. So I say the marker, I grab it, and I bring it to him. Okay? So we're going to do another one. And I want it to where I don't have to stop him. Leave it. Yes. Mark the behavior. Good boy. Very nice. Now, what if the item is already on the ground and the dog is starting to go for it? In this same situation, we can say leave it as our dog is going for the reward that's on the ground, but then preventing them before they get to it. If you do it this way, which I do recommend training this, you have to make sure you say leave it before you apply the leash pressure. If you are saying leave it as you apply the leash pressure, this will not work. So again, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the food, I'm going to toss it, and he already is starting to figure it out, but let's see if he's gonna go for it if I just walk around it. Leave it, and then I prevent him from grabbing it. Once he doesn't go for it, I make sure the leash is nice and loose. Okay, here we go. If I can get another hot dog slice, I got other treats in here. That's not hot dog, buddy. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna take it, toss it. Good boy. Good, yes. Nice job, buddy. He didn't go for it there. I'm gonna use some just normal freeze dry treats. Yes, good boy. All right, so we're gonna do another one. Now I'm gonna show you the other technique as well if you did wanna use the hand or the foot option. All you do is drop it, let them see, leave it, then you would cover it, preventing them from getting to it. And then once they're doing it nicely, they're not going for the reward, then you can say yes, 
and give them the treat by picking it up and handing it to them. I prefer to pick it up and hand it to them because I don't like my dogs to constantly be sniffing the ground trying to get a reward. So again, this is a very easy way to teach the leave it command. Make sure when you're first teaching it, you say leave it before you toss it. Once your dog understands that concept, then you can have it to where you have something on the ground, your dog goes for it, and before they get to it, you say leave it, and then you prevent them from getting to it. So a good way to do this is set your dog up. So right now it's very clear that we're doing a training exercise. Charlie knows we're in the middle of a training session and he's happy about it, but you also want to have it to where it's in a normal situation. So I might set a piece of food outside without my dog knowing. Then I go inside, I hook the leash on, I come walking out and then my dog sees the food. As my dog goes for it, I say, leave it. Then I use the leash pressure to prevent my dog from picking up the item. Once they stop and they look at me, then I go, yes. And then I grab the reward and I hand it to my dog. So that puts them in situations that are not so directly associated with a training session. It makes it seem more organic and natural instead of something very training-like as this is, okay? So very simple technique. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks again.